and Kids Play One. I'm Dad Mashima from Dad and Kids Play One, and here are all five advanced techniques to improve your gameplay in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Number one, Tech Hit. Tech Hit is a technique that prevents the opponent from throwing your character. To do this move, wait until you see your opponent grab you. As soon as they do, press back or forward plus either Fierce Punch or Fierce Kick. The window for this move is very tight, so you have to train your eye to execute the commands at the right time. Doing the technique too early or too late will result in your character being thrown. Also, please be aware that not all throws can be escaped such as specials and supers. Number 2. Wave Dashing Wave Dashing is a dashing technique that allows your character faster movement across the screen. This is done by dashing and then pressing down in the middle of your dash. Doing this will allow the character to cut off the dashing animation and then you can go into another dash right afterwards. Not only does the animation cut allow for faster movement, but pressing down allows the fighter to quickly go into defense mode while getting closer to the opponent. Also, from my understanding, Blackheart is the only fighter that does not have a wave dash. One last thing. I recommend pressing both punch buttons to dash while wave dashing to make the process easier. Number 3. Triangle Jump The triangle jump is another tricky component in Marvel 2. But in order for this technique to work, you need a character that has an 8-way air dash. In this example, we will be using Magneto. To do the triangle jump, do the super jump first then quickly press down, forward, and both punches to air dash towards the opponent, then attack them while coming down. Not only is the triangle jump as great at surprising the enemy, but the attack from above can penetrate through a crouching opponent's defense. The triangle jump is great for both mix-ups and rush downs on the enemy. Number 4. Unfly I spoke on unfly mode back in last week's video for the Sentinel and being that it's an often used mechanic, I might as well cover it again. So whenever you do a block in the air or deactivate flight mode, you won't be able to defend or attack, it's just a straight drop to the ground. However, Marvel 2 has its share of bugs and unfly mode is one of them. With unfly, you'll be able to attack and defend. Basically, you'll be able to do all the things that you can't without the mode. In order to activate Unfly, all you need to do is get hit while in mid-air, and that's it. But there are some things to keep in mind while using this technique. Remember that if you get hit in the air and it isn't a hard knockdown, then Unfly is activated. Unfly opens up a path to new combos called Unfly Combos that you can only do in unfly mode. A hard knockdown and a normal jump will disable unfly mode. Also, after using it several times, it seems to go away on its own, so you have to reactivate it. Number five, guard break. The guard break is a super advanced technique where timing seems to be the most critical. Nevertheless, it's a great skill that can turn the tide of the fight. In this example, we will be using Cable. First, do a snap back and wait for the opponent partner to come in. Jump back then do an aerial fierce punch to make the opponent block at the peak of his jump. Finally, do a tiger knee motion plus both punch buttons to go into the air hyper viper beam. If done correctly, you will break their guard for a free hyper move. The reason why this works is because the opponent's jump in a fight has the attributes of a normal jump. This means that they only can do one action before touching the ground. And so, since you already made them block with the air fierce punch, which is an action, they had no way of blocking the hyper. Again, 
The guard break timing is so precise, so practice this technique to get the hang of it. And there you have it. That was 5 advanced techniques to improve your gameplay in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. If you enjoyed this video and it helps you in some way, then consider subscribing. Once again, I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. See you next video.